Hey, Catalina, it's Carl. Come on, let's go. We got banks to rob, baby. Come on, let's go. In here, mi amor. All right, come on, let's go. You get your sorry ass in here right now, Carl Johnson, or I shove a fucking hand grenade up it. All right, I'm coming. Look, baby, I really need that paper. Oh, my God! What in hell's name is that? This, you fucking prick? This is a rack. I'm gonna no, torture baby, your sorry no, ass. please, no. You never write to me. You don't call. You treat me like a fucking whore. Like one of your whores. No, baby, please, I ain't into that shit. I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, baby, please, no. Please, baby, no. Ow! Hey! Ooh! Ow! Ow! Damn! Oh, shit! Yes! Faster! Harder! Deeper! Oh, yes! 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 Maybe we can go out and rob now? How was it? Different. I knew you would like it. Look, baby, I thought we was gonna make some serious paper. I'm starting to get really bored of you. I just need the money. And I'm just a cheap fuck? A whore you don't even pay? No, I didn't say that. Carl, I say I'm in love with you, and you act like I'm an idiot. I see the way you look at other women. I know you're kind, Carl. I am serious. I will kill you if you ever mess around. I will castrate you first, then I will make you eat that. Enough! I need some fucking money. Carl, you are really boring me now. Please, sweetheart, I gotten some real, real deep shit. Okay, maybe today we hit it big. You wanna rob a betting shop? Yeah, you know man enough? Here, Carl. Satchel charges? Where the hell'd you get them? <laughs> You, you stupid bitch! Stupid fucking bitch! Now I kill you! Eat my shit! Go! Get in there and open the safe! Stop playing with your balls and hurry up! Okay, I got it! About fucking time! You're a fucking sloth! Whatever, let's roll! Okay, look, but we gotta talk about something. What? What do I have to say to you? You're a great girl and all, but you gotta calm down. I know some cold-blooded cats wouldn't act like you. How'd you get given a lioness and you want a pussycat? With? No, I just want... Do you know why I act like this? No. I'm in love, Carl. A woman's heart is a tempestuous place, and 
You will break my heart. Sometimes I want to kill a goat. Please, don't do that. Just relax a little. I miss little Vincent so much. He loved to play baseball. I, I was driving him to practice. I guess I was busy making eyes at the guy driving next to me. To impress me, Carl Johnson. Here's your cut, big man. Hey, what's happening? Why you so cheery? You thought I was one of your cheap whores? Baby, you gotta chill the fuck out and... I chill out when you get here. You better hope I don't make testicle kebabs when you arrive. Look, this ain't no... No more talk. Get your ass up here, now! Asshole! Damn, what I do now? Do all the fucking same, eh? I see it on television, I read it in books, I hear it in music. Do all the same. Fuck this, fuck that. Well, fuck you! Baby, I'm sorry. I gave to you as a woman. No! No more! From now on, we just business partners, okay? Hey, if that's how you want it, but I mean, you break breaking my heart. I'm warning you. I'm in a really bad fucking mood today. I kill everybody who fucks with me. Especially you. Move! I feel good today, like a woman reborn. Cool, maybe you won't go berserk, huh? Oh, I go berserk, but not until I really pissed. Oh, well that's a relief to hear. Perhaps this time no kawaii motherfuckers will get in our way. Amen to that. Come on, drive. What's wrong? Nothing, I just hate men. Well, give me a break. Here's your break. Your break is you're not on my barbecue being eaten. Well, that's one way of looking at shit, I suppose. Now, try to be a man this time. Drive, lover. Oh, kids, you look like we're going to another funeral. Dad, we're bored. You teach your children a lot of good American values. But Carl, you have to have be fun. Master, totally ruthless. Not fucking about like in the betting shop. What? If you hadn't started busting, things would have been sweet. They had to die because you were slow and stupid. Like a big fat brat that eats chocolates while his father gives nothing to his stepdaughter but stale bread. What? Where'd that come from? Enough! I'm not speaking to you anymore. You're on crowd control, so don't take any shit. Yes, um, Miss Catalina, miss. Don't even think about doing anything, motherfucker. Hand over every last dollar! Now, bitch! I'm going to empty the safe. Keep these idiots covered. All right, you heard the lady. No heroic shit. Oh, what was you saying? Oh, shit! Shit! I give you one simple job, idiota! Attention all units. Some psychos are robbing the bank at Palomino Creek. Shit, I just bought another donut. Don't criminals have any consideration? We can collect that bribe later. Might as well go and take a look. We know you're in there. The game's up. Come on out. Come out. Real peaceable lack. Smash the ATMs and get as much as possible. Give up. You're surrounded. Wait, give me that. How much time? Give me them shit. Better take the back door. Follow me. Thought you might try the back way. We were waiting for you. Yeah, you I'm getting tired. You wanna fuck with me, huh? Give up. You're surrounded. You ain't scaring me, and you ain't stopping me. You ain't a coward, huh? Give 
keep going! You like wearing a uniform, huh? You just free! Grab a bike and follow me! Do you think you can keep up with a real woman? Now, big man. How we do? Is that all you care about? Money? No, but I really need to pay. You revolt me. You make my skin crawl. Well, I ain't crazy about you either. That's just it. How little you know. Don't talk. Let us enjoy the peace and quiet. Come on, Carl. Move it. There you go. Thanks. One day, Carl Johnson. You will realize, she, she truly loved me, and your heart will break in two. But you are more like the spiny lizard than a man. Goodbye. Hey, Caesar, what up? I got the lowdown on Smokes Ye, where it is every Monday and Friday the cash leaves Los Santos for San Fierro. Then every Wednesday and Saturday, a courier takes the Ye back to Big Smoke. Okay, I keep an eye out for him. See if I can't spoil their little party. All right, man. Next, with the Phillips. I'm Dr. Phillips, and I'm in the room. Get to a 10-step program, That's man. 12 steps. Yeah, you only deserve 10. I'm also Dr. Phillips, and I'm conservative. Today on the show, was it okay to talk to people we were at war with once? And the skyrocketing price of buying off a politician. And we talked to people without health care, who are genuinely happy not to be burdened with it. It's political debate and discussion from the right and the wrong side of the tracks. Let's go to the phones before right-wing anger engulfs my wife. Who's on the line? Hi, I have an eating disorder. So I like to move to the West Coast. Oh, that's so sad. Maybe we are supportive. So can... Yeah, maybe you should keep your... Yes, I think you're a little confused. No, you're the one that's confused. 
I'm the one who eats Alaskan salmon and children from Alabama. I speak English, I eat German food, I practice French adultery, and I weigh as much as Vatican City. I'm an American. Okay, you're a nut. Get off our show. Mary, would you please stop eyeing the producer? I already slept with him. So did I. Man, where is this guy? Hey, I've been waiting forever, man. Where the hell you been? Sorry, Holmes. I had no idea when the race would be. Right. You just happened to show up five minutes after everybody else, huh? When the gasoline runs through your vein like the burning passion, you know when it's time to race. I think you're getting high on that country air, man. Hey, CJ, look. You haven't been to one of our meets before. Where are you from, friend? I'm from Grove Street Families, Los Santos. What's happening? Relax. This isn't a parade, pal. But you know, we gotta be careful. Wootsie Moo. But my friends call me Wootsie. How are you doing? CJ. Carl Johnson. Listen, out here we like to race for cash or pink slips. Race of choice. Get your car started. We're about to go. Good luck, Carl Johnson. There's something real strange about that dude. Be careful, CJ. For sure. You're on I say, you say, and what's your question? Yeah, this is Brad. I'm really into pleasuring myself. Good grief! Well, that's my business, but I feel discriminated against. Not only can I not practice my hobby in the privacy of my own garden or car, but my movies are rated as pornographic. I mean, let me ask you a question. Threesome, right? Well, that's where our problem started. Yeah. Right? Well, right. I ran a movie with two chicks and a dude, and it's called a porno. People look at me like I'm some sort of creep. But it's natural. But I ran a movie with two dudes and a chick. It's all in French. Probably wins awards. Called an art house love triangle. But it's revolting. No, you're revolting. Get off the airwaves and into therapy, buddy. Oh, that's the problem with men. You're imbeciles. And yet you married me. God, don't rub it in. I did. I was desperate. That's all we have time for, luckily. This show is headed downhill. When you take the worst qualities of an elephant and a donkey, you get a lot of shit. We'll see you next time on I Say, You Say. You said you liked me in that donkey's jackass. I Say, You Say is heard only on WCTR. Be thankful. At home, at work, or in rehab, listen to WCTR. Make the wrong move and get jumped. If you make the wrong move and need money fast, we're here to capitalize on that. Some people are destined to make the wrong move over and over again. It's okay. It's all right. What are possessions and life's treasures if you can't cash them in during a self-imposed crisis? At Abigo Brokerage and Pond, we'll secure the funds you need for any collateral items you can get your hands on. Just bring in your stock, jewelry, electronics, munitions, dust, automobiles, power tools, home movies, children, exercise equipment, pets, coin collection, or your spleen, liver, or kidney, we'll give you cash on the spot. After all, some habits are expensive. We don't need proof of ownership. We're about the most basic exchange. Goods for money. We'll buy anything, including your dignity. A Vigo Brokerage and Pond. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's The Wild Traveler, next. Support for The Wild Traveler is brought to you by the Ultimate Disc in the Dark Association of America, who encourages you to get out and play hard. Hello, I'm James Bedeeston, World Traveler, and this is The Wild Traveler. We're discussing the world and all of its many pleasures. Let me put it like this. Why have a hot dog from an uncaring vendor by the bathroom when you could attend a beer-guzzling marathon in Germany with enormous men and taste of wonderful German's wurst? The world is full of incredible things, and you can discover them for yourself. Come along, I'll take you there. It was dusk, and the sun bled red over the city in Thailand as Chen... Drive with style, Carl Johnson. And I never mind losing to a guy who's willing to push himself right to the edge. 
As for me, I'm a man who honors his bet. Well, you learn pretty fast with the police on your ass. Listen, it's best if we clear the hell out of here as soon as possible, because for some reason, the local police don't appreciate our noble sport. Yeah, thanks for the advice. Okay, I gotta go. Uh, you know what? If you ever find yourself in San Fierro, give me a call. Maybe we can do a little business together. Yeah, I might just do that. I guess that's our wake-up call. Nice meeting you. Stops. How's the food? Well, a lighter is the most you need to cook up food, but there's scarcely time to eat, my boy. You'll meet fascinating people, feel so comfortable, you'll rip your clothes off and howl for days. Where you been, eh? This is how you repay my tenderness? You prefer the curves of some car to those of a real woman? Look, Catalina, you called it off, remember? Just business. What kind of a man are you? When I say just business, I mean that I love what you! What the fuck? When I say I know interested no more, I mean that I love wait. you! And hey, when I say wait, that Catalina, I miss you... Catalina, wait! Leave my car alone! I did this for us! For me and you. It's too late. I don't love you no more. I love another, okay? What? Then what the fuck was this about? I cannot keep my passions hold up. They need a release. That was a good release. Like hitting a man with a frying pan while he sleeps. This Carl? This is my new man. Are you jealous? Are you going to fight for me? Ah? Uh? No, no, I, I can take rejection. You are jealous and a coward. Now let's race. Crazy bitch. No doubt, I love you, Mia. Had a great time. With that show you did last week, what was the name of that oh, spiritual no. center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find it at peace. Awesome. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks, man. Yes, we all love to travel, get away from it all, get away from the people with computers and their databases, the police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself and people are being forced from their homes by war or famine or whatever. Life is great! Stop ruining it! Next caller. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal. Paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to you taking their picture. But a few pennies of their local currency and they will form it. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Bedeeston, and this has been The Wild Traveler. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you at the airport. The news, and all the other things that really matter to you, like people dying. Fire. Bodies everywhere. An explosion. It is hanging from the tree. This accident is really cool. WCTR. Cock a doodle doo, it's time for a chicken. Cock a doodle doo, it's time for a feast. Eat a 90 piece bucket, you can tell. He's been to Clucking Bell. The chicken is a bird with a tiny brain. So we assume he doesn't feel any pain. We shrink their heads and we breed them fast. Sit
If you enjoy it, the chicken didn't die in vain. Need to meet someone very special? Juke had the unfair advantage. Being a better driver ain't no unfair advantage. You think you're clever, but it is you who is missing the point. Not only was he racing, but he was satisfied me, fully. What are you gonna say about that? Hmm, the advantage of a stick shift, I guess. Yeah, whatever, anyway, man, what is it? Cash or pink slip? There you go. Goodbye, Mr. Johnson. I will not be missing you. Hey, wait a minute, bitch. What is this shit? They did to a garage in San Fierro. My lover needs his car so we can go to Liberty City. Liberty City? Yeah, whatever. Have a good time. I will. Fine. Okay. Go. I ain't gonna miss you. Goodbye. Be celibate. There's a lot of people out there with a vow of celibacy. Look at all the joy they bring to the world. I'd love to help, but it sounds serious, and I like to keep things strictly trivial. Who's on the phone? How's your heart? I saw a documentary about this serial killer and fell in love. He's been turned down for parole for eating a guard or a baby, and I can't get a conjugal visit. That's so terrifying, maniac. Love doesn't have to be a crime, like when you would write your name over and over maniacally in a spiral with a notebook and fuss. Just wishing he'd turn around during algebra class and say, do you want to study tonight? And then he's so overwhelmed with passion when he sees your polynomials. What's happening? Hey, Carl, dude. Now I got the little mom out you're after. But be careful, man. People are listening to us. I got a little green village up in the hills. Come and get it. Whoa, man, I don't know you. I don't know you. Prank caller, prank caller. Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean, jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No, I'm in Burden Bluff. Loathsome place, I'd jump if I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travel log again. This is from my diary in Sri Lanka. For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who has been my guide in pleasure as well as travel. There is something very exotic about him, a Vringa. He could be a boy, but like many locals, in certain lights, he looks just like a little girl. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to me. Oh, well, good. Here we go. Avrinda took me deep into jungle. And there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of adult. Come on, sunshine, don't stop! Remember, heroes get killed. What's up with the whole baby? You think you're American, but do you drink American? <laughs> Lager, the beer that brought the forest down. I like to relax after a hard day at work. And I like to relax hard, get really drunk. So drunk, you can't tell your sister from your wife. Now that That's fun. And now I can 
do it without gaining pounds. Thanks to new Lager Lights. Drink even more, gain less. It's the Lager Light promise. At first, the guys were like, I didn't know you drank light beer. Are you gonna start wearing dresses and drinking wine coolers too? Well, then I... Explained it facilitated alcoholism without the attendant weight gain, and they really switched. Now we're all lager men. Lager light, or light in the beer, not in the loafers. Lager. Good reason. Hey, they gotta start playing to win, trying to score some on the other team. I hey, wish I had a wife so she could beat me. <laughs> Here's what I say, man. If you want to be number one, you gotta go for first place. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great stating the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Man, I was at their training camp this spring, and the mood in the locker room, dude, guys were getting changed, man. I mean, they were really getting prepared. Shoes were going on, feet, shirts were going on, the shirt part of their body, serious faces on them, and you could tell that they were gonna play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man. God, you have some spooky insights into sports, dude. I love your show, man. I, I love you. <coughs> yeah, yeah, look. Great talking to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning stadiums to install a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now, it's so inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up, get up, get up. You know, to, to let you by, then go stand in line for the bathroom. I mean, half the time we can barely walk anyway, all right? So we'll be handing out petitions that say support the team. Don't leave the game pee at your seat. Going to the phones! I'm a big spy fan. Peace. I've got everything you need, Lone Traveler. It's in the mothership. Back there. Thanks, man. Look, here go your paper. Ah, the karmic circle closes. All is as it should be. Back to the egg. Oh. Damn, man, there must be two tons of that stuff back there. Three. Rama. What the fuck's that noise? Hey, that sound like a chopper. Oh, man, narcs, you fucking rat. Dude, don't put that on me. You don't want to deal with Tim, Penny. What's all this? Calm, brother. Panic paves the way to bad karma. Man. We gotta torch those fields. I only hope Kaya can forgive us.
assholes. Right wing assholes. Oh, I don't feel too good. It's a crying shame, ain't it? No, I mean, I think I'm gonna black out. Bite the ocean and you will drown, brother. Carl, man, we'll take the mothership and get our shit out of here. Go get her fired up. I'll finish burning and I'll follow you. on our tail. We'll never shake them now. Hold on. I got a little something back here I was saving for a rainy day. Holy motherfucker. Where'd you get that? Found it in a bale of tie sticks. Shame, really. We're gonna make it into a lamp. Now you're sure What'd about you pull that? over for? Yeah. You better drive. I haven't driven in 15 years. You was doing all right? Yeah. Then the fear hit me. Now I'm rolling a number to calm the waves. Shit! I better call Caesar. Hey, Caesar. No time to talk, man. I'm on my way to San Figuero, okay? I'll meet you and Kendall at that garage I wanted the races. Holla at y'all later. Hey, you want to hit on this? A little temple chair is in a cocktail with some Nepalese munga munga. Put that thing out, man. I can't see. Man, all out, brother. It's good shit. Put it out, motherfucker. I'm warning you. Whoa, chill the fuck out. <laughs> Firstly, you are a real buzz killer, amigo. And secondly, I never made love to my mother. She wouldn't. And thirdly, we're in this together, so be cool. Sorry, man. I just don't drive when I'm fake. <laughs> What's with all the little boy, man? Protection from mind control, dude. Mind control? Induction of images, sound or emotion using microwave radiation. Do you know how many government satellites are watching any citizen at any moment? No. 23. Do you know how many religious relics are kept at the Pentagon? No, I don't. 23. You see a pattern emerging here, man? Man, I'm seeing patterns all over the place. Get that smoke out my face. Hey, this thing go any faster? Man, we got three tons of grass on board. The engine block is held together with a macrame hammock, and it's running on 15-year-old cooking oil. Shit! Can you shoot? Shoot! I'm a hippie! The only thing I've shot is acid. Well, I heard about this dude snorting it once. Thought his nose was a kangaroo and the moon was a dog. Woo! Today, we marched on from Fort Strother after sunrise to a creek village where our troops fought the savages. Jeez! Shot we screwed! When'd you get this? 1967. How you get around if you don't drop? I have an astral goat called Herbie. She's faster than most. But getting old. Yeah, whatever, man. You talking shit. Always loved history. Then I heard about grown men who like to play with toy soldiers. War is so interesting. With commemorative miniatures, I began by faithfully rebuilding the charge of life. And after that, the 
trail of tears. I've built accurate recreations of 15 significant battles as well as training camps, prisoner war camps, and forced labor death camps. Now I spend all my time painting toy soldiers and attending conventions. Commemorative miniatures. They're instantly collectible and a great value. For just 37 monthly payments of $19.99, you get a starter pack allowing you to recreate the battle of your choice. Show your inability to deal with present-day problems by recreating scenes of mass slaughter from the past. Reenacting battles is great for your marriage, too. One night, my husband's General Custer. The next, Napoleon. On Saturdays, come on, Cambodian village, and he's actually... There she is, brother. San Fierro, the city of psychedelic wonders. Man, I can't believe I ain't been here before. There ain't a better place to escape the man, man. Okay, Mr. San Fierro, where's the spot at? It's in Doherty, on the east side of Fierro, between Garcia and Easter Basin. Hello? Lisa? Yeah? How you doing, bitch? How do you like having that house be built together, huh? George, his life was in that bald bastard of a new weapon. When you just can't be there in person, San Andreas Telephone for those difficult conversations. What happens when five eligible bachelors welcome a little girl into their lives? Hey, it's my turn in the bathroom. Non-stop. This is the place. Whoa, Jesus, dude. Looks like you've been fed a bummer. Motherfucker! That mute asshole, that fucking snake without a tongue, gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip. I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Girl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work, this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh, that's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here is fantastic. Oh. Yeah, uh, all right. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit. But the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. Hey, man, how you meet these dudes anyway? I met them at the 89th Fierro Love Inn, apparently. Apparently? You know how it is, man. A field of tents, crazy-ass music, a quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, go figure. But they were funny guys, man. Great sense of humor. They should learn. America is not. This here's land. Vietnamese gang territory. Tanang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. Hey, Jethro. 
Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth Dude. Oh, man. Do, do I owe you? Because I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man, we're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District, west of here. Yeah. You sick? No. The government is. But that's a long story. So, you know, like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage in Doherty by the waste ground. You know, car mods, low riders, all that shit. You down? Do polar bears shit in the woods? No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent, if I remember it right. Yeah, that was like so far gone, man. <laughs> What we here for anyway? Nothing. Oh, don't look. Cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again. Shh. Okay. I've seen enough. Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, dude. What's all that about? You don't want to know. Why? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. Sometimes it's best to stay in the dark, kid. I'm running on air. I'm walking on clouds. I don't exercise. I don't care. Pompous. I pay top to... Dude, Dwayne, man, how's the hot dog business? It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got, like, some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Doherty. I'll see y'all later. Okay, next stop, cop station downtown. What? You watch your mom. Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, uh, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that spaceship, man. Now you're a winner with air in his shoes. Now I can reach for the stars. I've pumped up my ego. Pump it. Pump it up with Eris. Relationships can seem like an eternity. You asshole! What were you doing with my sister in that hot tub? Relieve the pressure. Ice. Chill that bitch out with ice. A diamond lasts forever, but your relationship might not. A diamond is love. Rock hard and frozen in time. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind. Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to him. Look, what's going on, True? Who was him do? And don't go there. Man. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. And the only reason we've been in a Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro dot. Good. Keep it that way. What is a gentleman? He is kind, polite, and stands by his word. He is well-dressed and treats a lady 
Now a club for fine gentlemen has come to Las Venturas. Want to be a gentleman? Pay a woman the ultimate compliment by shoving 20s in her panties at the crazy cut. Oh, tonight and every night your luck is in town at the crazy cut, where the ladies are beautiful and oh, so very friendly. Come on, boys. I'm waiting for a gentleman like you. That's right. Candy wants to fake break herself for money and ma Leave me alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, Truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. Carl, zero. Zero, Carl. Sup? Carl here is open in a garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. <laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip-top genius, that's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. Okay, we here. A week of hard work, and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man. Dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot, property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look. I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl, are you busy? Zero? Nah, man, good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. <laughs> 